What do you do if you've been diagnosed with hyperparathyroidism, have had two scans that have not shown which gland is abnormal, and you've been told not to have surgery? I'm Dr. Bob Akhlarinoff, Center for Advanced Parathyroid Surgery. That is not an uncommon scenario, unfortunately. First, hyperparathyroidism shows up in many ways. First is when you get a, a tumor in one gland. So this gland develops uh, abnormal cell that in time grows and becomes this tumor. 85% of the time you see that. 10% of the time the person has two tumors. And 5% of the time all of the cells in all of the glands are abnormal and that's called hyperplasia. Now, before the tumor gets to this size, it starts as a smaller entity, right? Small, small. So when the tumor is this small, none of the scans may visibly show it, right? Because it's too small, just like this one, okay? And so if you've done the scans and none of them have shown anything, you may have either a small tumor or you may have hyperplasia where all of the glands are just slightly bigger than normal and may not be visible on any of the scans, just like you see in this hyperplasia scenario, okay? Um, this presents a difficult situation, but if you have a lot of the symptoms of hyperparathyroidism that is affecting the quality of your life, or if you have bone loss and osteoporosis on a bone density study, or you've been passing kidney stones or scans show kidney stones, those are indications to have surgery, right? If this disease is affecting the quality of your existence, you should treat it. And if you've done multiple scans, let's say you've done the two most common scans, ultrasound and assess the MIDI scan, and those are negative, I would highly recommend that you do a 4D parathyroid CT scan. In my practice, I always do an ultrasound myself in the office. If that's negative, the next thing I do is a 4D CT scan because it, in my mind, that's the next most reliable thing. Assess the MIDI scans I do at times, but I don't find them to be as helpful as these two scans, okay? So if you've done these two scans, and they've been negative, I highly suggest you follow it up with a 40 parathyroid CT scan. And if all of these scans are negative, you still have hyperparathyroidism and you have symptoms, and if it's affecting you, then the next thing to do is find a surgeon that has expertise in treating hyperparathyroidism so they can do the best surgery possible to cure you of this disease. If you're interested in clear parathyroid information, visit us at parathyroid.net. Be well.